Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the Podspective, the pivotal Podspective. Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? But it doesn't matter. It's live. We don't care. Uh, and I'm here with my co-host, of course, extraordinaire co-host, uh, Adrian Dorabantu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and our guest extraordinaire, who is a podcasting legend in San Diego, uh, and also the owner of Pipeline Insurance, uh, and uh, become a friend of the show and uh, a, a business friend of mine, I'd like to say, and that's Hernan Sears. Oh, you're too kind, too kind. I'm not your friend. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. We haven't met in person. We, you got to put a handshake. Screw the COVID thing. You got to put yeah. a handshake together. Yeah, it's funny enough. We're talking about this. I noticed a thing about handshakes recently. There was a post in, uh, in some group. Um, and I'd noticed a change before this all happened in Germany. And, and everybody was already distancing themselves and not shaking hands there at a business show, which was obviously quite unusual. Um, but yeah, that's uh, I like a firm handshake, don't you? It's like, a, you know... I just- like that. I just feel like I'm not connecting with people like whether you know I mean even with like family and stuff I'm I'm a hugger like I like to you know I'll give you a hug and I'm like you know I, I admire you being here you know I want yeah. to show you that I care and yeah. with this whole distant thing and then on top of that you put the mask on like I feel like you're peering into my soul when I look at people <laughs> it's Mate, so I, I, weird I think guys that's why they invented the video chat so uh, yeah you can do that if you want guys you're gonna right. feel more connected after high five <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so Hernan, we we sort of virtually met um, only in the last couple of months because uh, you're um, you're the biggest pod- business podcast or podcast in in San Diego, right? Um, and we're going to chat chat about sort of podcasting today as as the sort of pivotal subject because it's a big big thing now. So you're getting bigger than ever, right? Um, and so, to, so quickly tell us a little bit about your business and how you've utilized that first before we get into what your you know what you use and and how you sort of leverage stuff um but yeah tell us a little bit about that absolutely so uh business bros podcast we're rounding up two years here next month we'll be doing this for two years yeah. uh and by the end of this month we'll have broken 500 episodes wow uh, so we've been we've been honestly the biggest thing that has made a difference is the consistency right the, the fact that we hop on every single day yeah. um and we aim to have a guest every single day it doesn't always happen we run yeah. into little spells like we did this week the last three shows that we've had our guests have either uh not been able to hop on or we've had right. two that hopped on right before the show like we do right here right like look i'm not feeling very well (laughs) i'm I'm like let's just reschedule i don't want you to like puke during the show i'm all right it's okay Uh, i had that yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) Yeah, so (laughs) besides i don't want it contagious and you're gonna affect my computer it's a virus (laughs) (laughs) right but it doesn't matter whether or not you know the guest is able to hop on or not we still put the show on right the show must go on we hit the live button and we go at it anyways yeah Uh, and and this whole podcasting thing has allowed us to not only get comfortable with those types of pressure situations where you hop on this thing and you're like, what am I going to say? I don't know what I'm going to talk about, but you hit the live button and you figure it out, right? You keep going. You've just got to go. Yeah. And and, and at times you, you you know, you you don't get awkward silences if you know what you're doing as well. You sort of pre, you pre see what's going to happen. We're talking about it before we uh, we start recording, but, uh, but yeah, you're absolutely right. You've got to keep that. You just keep that momentum going because it's live. Yeah. Not just that you have. I, I think after you've been doing this for so long, you you start to fine tune your message. What is it that you're that you as an individual? What's at your core that you're trying to get across to people? I'm yeah. trying to help people be successful, right? I've yeah. been doing that for a long time. Whether it was in one of my early businesses where I'm I'm you know doing their tax returns, and then it transitioned to let me help you invest your money. I got my insurance license, yeah. uh, and then you know I got my real estate license. Let me help you buy homes. Let me help you. You know I'm always trying to help people, and yeah. I think my message has. Has resonated with that now in podcasting i'm like look if you have a business you have to you must have a podcast there is no way that you can have uh, a business without having a podcast because this is how you promote this is how yeah. you network with people this is how you prospect with people this is your tool of the future yeah yeah I love that you're so you're so passionate about this as well because you believe in it and it's done well for you though, hasn't it? I mean, it's it's you said that you first started up by by putting yourself out there to get uh, certain people towards you and in, in um, it was in in real estate, right? And that yeah. didn't necessarily work as well as you like, so you sort of had to sort of a change and play about with it. Is that is, is that it, what happened? Yeah, it comes down to you know what kind of show do you want, right? Yeah. Um, and and initially, I started podcasting with the intention of getting more people to buy. Uh, real estate for me, right? To to yeah. be, work as clients. Of but course. as I developed my show, uh, in hindsight, I didn't create a show 
to grab the attention of normal people, normal consumers, everyday consumers looking to buy and sell real estate. What happened was I ended up gravitating towards other self-employed business owners, whether it's a real estate professional, insurance professional, real, uh, uh-huh. restaurant owners, people who are in the real in, in the uh, in the business space. Yeah. And so the message kind of didn't didn't pan out, but what it did allow me to do is meet people who have an insurable interest. And since I have yeah. an insurance agency. That was the perfect networking tool, right? Every single person that we've met has an insurable interest. That means every person that we meet, we can continue to prospect and establish and and grow a relationship with. And it's been phenomenal. To this day, like yesterday, for example, I get a a DM and they're like, hey, do you know somebody who does credit repair? I go, absolutely do. You know, Frank Krikos, here you go. Here's his contact information. (laughs) I, I would never have been able to do that before. But yeah. now I am that resource. Literally, I'm here to help people, you know, grow their own businesses. And I have the resources and the network now to do so yeah. because of podcasting. So net so the networking is 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 paramount to, to to doing what you're doing and utilize it as a as a networking tool, right? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. you know, and 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 you know, there's a lot of people who get into this podcasting space and they think they're gonna be the next Joe Rogan, right? They they're yeah, looking yeah. for those millions of views right off the top. And they, they get discouraged really quick because they realize, oh, you know what? Nobody's listening to my show. Or worse, they're like, nobody's listening because I suck, right? At the beginning, you're not very good <laughs> yeah, at really. this podcasting thing. I, I, I tell people all the time, I'm like, I, I remember, and it wasn't even like I was new at this. This was like somewhere in the episode, like 370 to 400 range. I decided right. I was going to start doing uh teaching people what I was doing in podcasting. So I picked up the microphone and I was here by myself and we were using a completely different system at the time. And I go Facebook live and I'm talking about, look, this is my swag wall. This, you know, this stuff came from like, that came from Dan Fulkerson and his, you know, attorney agency, you know, uh, you know, I'm telling people all this stuff, Right. 30 minutes into the show. I'm like, you can podcast too. All you got to do is flip the switch. And I look and I'm like, Oh shit, I didn't flip the switch. (laughs) So I was on Facebook live the whole time. And, and and mind you, this isn't with, with StreamYard where I can see the comments. I couldn't yeah. see the comments. I'm talking to a camera, yeah. and and I'm and once I go back, you can see the comments. Can't hear you. There's no audio. And I was like, <laughs> you know. So we still make those mistakes, and and it doesn't matter how experienced you get, you're gonna make mistakes along the way. Yeah. Uh, but, but people give up too early. You know, they yeah. they give up too quickly, and this could be something super phenomenal. Like I don't know about you, Elliot or or Adrian for that matter. Um, if you were in a room and somebody said, Hey, um, can you, can you hop on stage and, and talk to these people for about 15 minutes? Are you okay with that? Yeah. Two years ago, there was no way I was, that was like, no, that's that guy's job over there. Like that guy oh, can really? do that. Not me. That wasn't my personality type. Oh, okay. Well, Interesting. I had the confidence to talk to people. Yeah. I didn't have the confidence in my message, right? What was important right. to you? How was I going to you know, and- put that out there? Yeah, that's the, that's the clarity is always the thing, though, isn't it? When you're clearer, it's much easier to stand up and talk about something. So the more you do this, I suppose, the more you, the, the clearer you get, the more confident you are. And, and so it's easier to do it, isn't it? A hundred percent. And, and here's know, the other so, thing. So I think, I think it, it's quite important because uh, I think all of us probably have been introvert at some point till till we just said fuck it you know whatever it is it is because i think we both got actually we all got to that point where we said i know i'm genuine i know i want to you know you know help people exactly like yeah. you said Hernan. and yeah. why shouldn't we so now i don't I, I don't have any issues going out on stage or you know talking on podcasts or things like this yeah you get yeah. you get comfortable with yourself because mm-hmm. honestly the only person stopping you is you right yeah. you, yeah. you, you you're going to go on stage and he, people are either going to listen to you. They're going to hop on their phones and not listen to you, or they're going to completely ignore you and, and talk amongst themselves. Right. Yeah, <laughs> One of yeah. those three scenarios is going to happen, but you're probably not going to die. You're yeah. probably, you know, the, the, the biggest fear that you have is probably not going to happen. So, you know, get out there and do it. And, and the, the fact that you hop on this microphone every day that you're, they have the ability to turn on that camera and go on live and, and talk yeah. to different people that right there is a confidence builder in yourself. You're able to digitally shake hands, even though you can't really shake hands. You're able yeah. to connect with people. You're able to entertain or be entertained, teach or learn a concept. And and it's all at your free will. Like you don't have to pick up a book and read it anymore. You can literally go to the author, have that author on your show and have them explain to you whatever concept it was. And if you have a question about it, you can ask them and they will answer it. It's amazing what this this medium can do for you. 
I, 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 I love it. I've definitely, it definitely took me a little while to get into it, to be honest. Um, <laughs> it, is, it probably took me two or three months to start recording what I quite liked. And then I, then I did it, but the kit was here uh, before obviously lockdown with the studio. But uh, yeah, it, I, would, I, I, I thought I was going to be okay because I'm quite confident. But when you start wanting to, as you said, when you start wanting to talk about what you do and things like that, it starts becoming difficult. So I just talk to everybody else about what they do. It's way easier. <laughs> it is. And, and, and it allows you, again, it allows you to fine tune your stuff. Here's the other thing uh repetition right uh I, I you know we're 500 episodes in and i can go back and listen to my episodes and i guarantee you i say a lot of the same things over and over and over sure. again and to me at first when i was doing this i was weird like i already said that like i already yeah. said that i already said that but then you realize that the person listening on the other side probably didn't listen to all 500 episodes of your yeah. show <laughs> Right. Exactly. It's probably this is the first or a couple that you listen to. And the whole reason why they're listening to you is because they like that message. They understand yeah. and they jive with your message. So yeah. the repetition is actually a positive thing. And and as you repeat yourself, you find, oh, you know what? Maybe I should say it this way a little bit. I, I should yeah. probably, you know, change this word a little bit more. And your message gets clearer and clearer and clearer, and you get more and more confident. Yeah. Like I don't know about you, but but during this whole COVID thing, I mean, we I well, actually, I do know about you. We pumped out all <laughs> kinds of content yeah, in the last, yeah. you know, three months. I mean, beyond yeah. what anybody else has has been doing. And this is a perfect time because before COVID, trying to get people to you know hop on the camera and 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 be on a live screen, yeah. it wasn't as easy. They were very uncomfortable at first. Now, yeah, definitely, this is normal. Yeah, this is just the way we communicate. Yeah, and it, which is good because it's opened up the you know what is in essence a, a, a marketing a marketing platform. I mean, you know, I, I I saw this before. It's you know soft marketing with marketing soft media. I like to call it, but it is it's soft media. It's soft media marketing, isn't it? Really, um, and, and as you said, everybody's got used to having these conversations on video and and uh, and just doing it in business. So it should be much easier for people to just grab this and and utilize this as a as a platform. Other people's podcasts are, are, are great to get onto. I mean, I know you're doing a uh, doing a doing a tour. Are you going to be setting up a tour at the moment to do different podcasts? Yeah. So you're you're of one tour? of the stops. You're one of the stops on the tour. Hey! <laughs> it's right. So so the goal was the goal was first of all now in hindsight it's a pretty ambitious goal. My goal was fifty podcasts in the month of June, right? So, uh, you know we've done five hundred podcasts. I thought you know it would be awesome if I can go on other people's show, show yeah. them how energetic and enthusiastic I am, and you know yeah. you never know you might have people that are listening to your show. They're like you know what I like that guy's show. You know that guy had yeah. a great vibe. I'm gonna go listen to his show for a little while, and yeah. and I get to peel off a little bit of other people's audiences. I get to spread my message across you know other people's platforms yeah prior to knowing you i probably had zero people who recognized my name or face or even saw my logo in the uk it just probably didn't exist there yeah maybe so, maybe. so you never know where it's going to expand to and as far as your brand is concerned this is the most important part of your business today yeah right like if, if you're if you're in marketing you are in the business of ruining everything that's fun because that's what a marketer does, right? Yeah. We, you, you, Facebook. Facebook was awesome because it didn't have ads and it, it was free to post whatever you wanted <laughs> yeah. and it had reach forever. And it's becoming less cool because now it has ads in every space and the algorithm cuts out where your where your reach is. And yeah. so people start to gravitate to other platforms as, as that sort of stuff happens. Like TikTok. <laughs> like TikTok, right? It still has exactly. a lot more reach. Yeah. So, you know, if you think of it like that, every marketer is going to ruin whatever is fun. Podcasting yeah. right now is fun. Yes. It has free will. There's no FCC regulating what we talk about. No one really yeah. cares what show, uh, what the show topic is. You, the only difference is, is it explicit or not explicit? And that's the yeah. only thing that you need to watch out for. Other than that, you you can talk about anything and, and, and the topic doesn't matter. Yeah. So you can create your brand around whatever business model you want. Yep. Be as passionate as you want behind that topic. Be yourself yep. and your tribe will gravitate towards you. And you're going to develop a, a, a following of people that think like you, that act like you, that love your message and are, are ready and willing to buy your product or service from you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think you start to create like a lifestyle, you know, and that's what people actually are looking for. They like they like to look up to other people and how they live and maybe either to mimic that lifestyle or, you know, do something with them. And it's the same when we listen to people that, we obviously never met them, you know, other podcasters, other influencers, doesn't matter, people on YouTube, but we watch them just because we like what the hell they say, you know, or maybe, I don't know, whatever they do. And you know, it's, it's funny. Uh, I, I, let, let me ask if you guys have, have you met any of the podcasters that you listen to in person? 
Uh, oh, but no. you would have met would have met you. Know, I did before, but not since lockdown. No, not since lockdown. Yeah, well, same, same. Not since lockdown. I didn't yeah. met anyone, ever, but so, I listened only to really high podcasts. <laughs> so I listened. <laughs> When our podcast launched, there was another podcast. Uh, it's uh, Melina Palmer's The Brainy Biz. And right. uh, she's a uh, behavioral economics. And she talked about, you know, it's, it's the psychology on why people buy. And so right. I would listen to her show. And, and she has a really great show, by the way, if you guys want to check that out. Okay. Uh, she posts an episode once a week. And uh, and so I would listen to her show. And, and one of her episodes, she's like, hey, if you'd like to, you know, talk to me in person or whatever, you know, she's like, send an email to whatever, whatever. And I so I did. And yeah. then she reached out. And I was like, whoa. It's kind of cool. Like, you know, it was like one of those things where you, you, you reach out to some sort of influencer and they, they yeah. replied back. I was like, that's awesome. And so she was going to be speaking here in San Diego at an event. And uh, uh, and she let us know, you know, hey, I'm going to be in San Diego, blah, blah, blah. Would you guys like to grab lunch sometime? I was like, okay, cool. yeah, that's cool. So we show up and we, we, we sit down and it's James and I, and we're both kind of geeking out because, you know, this is Melina. She's here. <laughs> and and uh, we sit down and talk to her and she starts talking. And, and I, I say the goofiest thing. But uh, but it's true. I was like, you sound just like you do on your show. <laughs> <laughs> You're real. You're not a robot. Right? And, 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 you know, in hindsight, I was like, it was totally a nerd moment, right? It was totally like a groupie moment of mine. Because uh, yeah. she had such great insight and, and she has a great, great show. And meeting her in person, I was like, wow, that's amazing. And then it happened to me. Yeah. Right, And then it happened where I met somebody that I had never met before in my entire life, but they had yeah. known a lot about me because that they had been listening to the show course, and yeah. they dropped the same line. And it was so amazing to hear somebody else say it to you, like, wow, you act just like you do on your show. I'm like, I hope so. Cause it's just me. <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what it is. But it's that whole different persona. The brand has created a relationship with people that you don't even know you have a relationship with. Your yeah. message has hurt, has hit people in a way that, can only connect with them because you know it, it's there. It's living on the internet, twenty four hours a day, seven days yeah. a week. Yeah. Your brand, your image, your message is living online for you. So yeah. you have the ability to create whatever it is you want. Keep yeah. pumping out that content. Put it on, you know, put that long form on on Spotify and iTunes, and then chop it up and take those small pieces and put them on Instagram and and LinkedIn. Yeah. You you'd be surprised how many people have already uh, established a friendship with you. You yeah. just don't know who they are yet. Yeah, I mean, this is as you said, you can repurpose. You know, lots of it. You can take snippets, and we we do snippets. You know, we we can you can transcribe these things. You know, you've got audio and visit video. You know, you it goes across everything, can't it? You know, go all your and it's the best way to talk to people. Um, Rosanna Catalano is uh, is on, so she says hi, hi, so hi, Rosanna. She's a rocket ship Thank consultant, you, isn't she, Rosanna? Uh, thank. We did uh, did a podcast with her a couple of um, in the last couple of months, and uh, she's coming on again. So we look forward to that. Uh, uh, and my mum, mum of course, fan biggest fan, yeah. biggest so, the only fan to be fair. <laughs> you know that's funny you say that. I mean, when we first started, I Big think we mom. spent maybe like 50, 60 episodes, and it was audio only at the time. Yeah. And you know, I told you most people give up. Well, at least we had a fan. My mom listened to every single episode, or has listened to every <laughs> single episode since the beginning. But yeah. you know, at the beginning, when you suck at it, this is where you get to develop your skills. This is where you get better. You practice. You change. You modify, and and you get better. Speaking of changing and modifying, uh, you guys are using Streamyard. I yes. love the Streamyard, and it's a shift from using Zoom. Yeah. Um, and for us, it was a shift from using Sling Studio, which is another platform that we use for for video uh, uh, multi camera right, use okay. inside. Yeah. But <clears throat> one of the main reasons why I why I love Streamyard is the ability to brand your show the way you want to yeah. highlight comments like that highlighting yeah. comments and bring you're, you're essentially taking your audience that's already listening to you now they've taken the time to engage with you and yeah. you get the ability to take that engagement and highlight it on your show yeah yeah show it's great that tool. thank you th thank you for listening i appreciate you i see you you know you're 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 one of the main reasons why we do what we do is because you know we get to, to connect with you guys, and, yeah. and that's a that's an amazing tool that Stream, Streamyard has allowed us to to do. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a it's a great tool. I think it's the best one of the best things out there, and I see a lot of the big guys use exactly the same the same system as well. Um, and uh, yeah, no, it's good. I mean, the, and obviously you can go across multiple platforms. We go across at the moment. We're on my personal Facebook page and uh, and the Essex Business Radio Facebook page. We are going to go live on YouTube. Do you do YouTube as well? Do you go live on YouTube as well? We do uh, Facebook um twitch twitter youtube and then i keep applying to do linkedin because linkedin has a whole application process to do live yes and man that's taking forever 
Oh, is it? Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, okay. Yeah. So I've, I've done the same. So, okay. So you just wait for them to come back, do you? Oh, man. Uh, I've applied uh, three times. Ah. So, and, and it's not that they say no, they just get wrong. swarmed. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and I've talked to other podcasters too, by the way. And they're like, yeah, I, I, yesterday I was talking to uh, Vinny and I was on his podcast and he was telling me that he just has an alert on his phone and every Monday he sends in a new application. Uh, <laughs> it's just taking forever. Like it, okay. it, it takes a long time. Noted. There's there, there's something for, for everybody to note for sure, and I'll, I'll I'll definitely start doing that regularly. I thought I'd done something wrong to be fair. Uh, to be fair, um, so ah, and uh, and Rosanna says she's waiting on LinkedIn too. Well, it looks like we're all waiting on LinkedIn. Come on, LinkedIn, do us a favor. Probably, probably they are frauded with applications, so they just <laughs> I don't know. It's like five per day, or something like that. You know? Yeah. yeah, and 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 I. But the thing is, they don't even reply back. They don't tell you that you no, can't nothing. do it yet yeah they, yeah they just they just kind of completely ignore you however they did do an event and i think you're able to do live events right so they have to be scheduled uh yes. in advance. yeah yeah i saw somebody do a post on that right okay yeah yeah but it's a little bit different so you know we want to be able to do live streaming like we do on all the other platforms yeah you know we'll we'll get there i'm, I'm sure we'll figure it out here but the fact that you're able to stream to multiple platforms at the same time is a huge yeah. plus yeah because the post edit on a podcast is what takes up a lot of time of course, so, and this is and so you're at the moment you're 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 editing live. I mean, there's a, there's a okay, you can stick an intro and an outro and play about and stick some, but you haven't got to mess about those bits in between, which would take a lot of editing. Right. Uh, in fact, that's what we did do before, and and this cuts down the time tremendously. Yeah, and then not only would you have to do the post edit, then you would have to go and upload the content to each of the different platforms okay, individually, yeah. right? Yeah. And that takes another amount of time because you, you're you uploading to one, you might upload to two, but then that's like the extent of the power that your computer has. Yeah, <laughs> you can't yeah, really yeah, do anything else in the meantime. Yeah. So this way you're streaming to these platforms live. There's no upload. You've yeah. already pre-populated your description, your, your title, your thumbnail. You're yeah. ready to rock and roll. As soon as you hit end, it's done. Like yeah. there's nothing really left to do um, except for, you know, download the MP3 because you're going to upload that to whatever platform is going to distribute for you, whether you're yeah. using like Anchor FM yeah. Yeah. or yeah. or Libsyn or whatever you're using. So, yeah. but literally I, I, you know, we're, we're like 15 episodes or 12 episodes ahead in far, as far as our, our daily uh, syndication. And yeah. so, uh, you know, on a Sunday I'll sit down and I'll do that whole week's stuff in like 20 minutes it's right. so much the, easier the, the audio do you mean the audio because it's yeah. literally now i'm copy and pasting from youtube because you it's feel, already done you make me feel so much better i'm about a week and a half behind on the audio as well to be fair <laughs> 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 so I'm gonna get, I, I am going to get those up and, uh, and and do exactly the same, sort of try and get those up on a regular basis as well. well I mean, this is this is an interesting, and I hadn't thought about this before. Um, would you class um, the, the video podcast, which I, well, I definitely would class these as video podcasts these days. I'd, some people would think it's just audio, but um, would you class this as, as, as more successful or more powerful than the audio side? I mean, what's the balance that you see there? I mean, how does that work for you? I just think they're different metrics. So, for example, my my podcast gets between two and three thousand downloads uh, a month, right? Which is not as significant, but each episode on Facebook gets anywhere between you know one hundred and fifty to you know a thousand views. Wow. So, okay. you know, if, if that is, you know, and that's per episode, not per download. And I think it just depends on, you know, where you're at. People are going to pull your stuff and, and you're going to grow audiences and they're going to consume content at their pace, at their level. Yeah. So, you know, wherever it is that, that they sit, I just think it's about you being able to put out as much content as possible so that people can consume you as quickly as possible. So yeah. like when we create a snippet, I, I put it in my LinkedIn, I put it in my Twitter, I put it in my Instagram, I put it on my TikTok, you know, it goes yeah. on my Facebook, it's everywhere. Yeah. So, yeah. So even though it's the one piece of content, you're putting it out five or six different times. Now you got six yeah. different pieces of content. Same thing with sure. your live stream. Now it's five or six different pieces of content. Same thing with your podcast. When that goes out, now it's the five, five or six different pieces of content that are going out to multiple platforms. Absolutely. You're at 15, 20 pieces of content and it's just that one day. Yeah. So, and it, yeah. that's, that's what it's about, right? In, in anything, like, you know, I, I have, I always make fun of a, uh, of different, commercials like the Folgers commercial or, or we are farmers dun, 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 dun. like people know these commercials over okay. here in the US right because they get put in your face all the time you see them yeah. over and so over that's what and you're over doing. you want to go you just want to be put in front of people wherever it is where so they see you somewhere exactly and, and, and for us, that, but I suppose even the audio you know so even if you don't see but if you hear the tune somewhere you just recognize that instantly as well you know so, exactly yeah. for us it's the business bros 
this. Yeah. So oh, no, we can yeah, walk into an it? event, or I'll be wearing my shirt, and and somebody who recognizes the brand will will shout that. The, it's their ability to just be a little goofy, right, yeah. at the time. But they see me, they see it, and it's a yeah. connection that we make. A lot. That is our brand, right? That's and, who we've associated with. You, you came on, I think you were watching one of the lives and it was one of the first things I did Well, after we'd obviously spoken for the first time. I was like, business bros. So when you come on, so yeah, it's the first thing you think of. It's I the mean, first it's, thing. It's a, it's your soundbite in essence, you know, yeah. and uh, and soundbites are, are hugely important as well. I remember seeing Gary V was uh, was talking about, um, uh, you know, like you've got the, the popping sound or, or, you know, there's, you know, something that makes processes or whatever whoever it is you, you know those sounds don't you and they're, and they're really important in in today's marketing again that's audio and visual stuff as well isn't it there's there's yeah. always whatever you can get to attract that attention whether it be in your ears your eyes your scent and any of your senses uh, that's how you remember stuff and yeah, usually also when you hear an audio your brain automatically try to visualize that you know the video that's associated with that straight away and that's why mm. exactly everything is just done like that yeah, yeah, it's funny. It's funny because uh, when we used to get people on the show live, that was part of the the gig. Like when we hit the cameras, it'd be like, okay, you know, we're, I'm gonna say welcome to another episode of, and then we're all gonna do it at the same time, business bros. So I have video clip after video clip, maybe like 200 people saying business bros. And right, it's okay. So funny because I would take those clips and I would create like small little sections. Maybe it's like 15 seconds of just another person, another person, another person, yeah, another very person. Cool. And and again, it became a thing, right? It became your brand. Yeah. That's and I think smart. that becomes that becomes social proof as well. You know, saying like we have this castle and all this. It, it, you see so many people associated with that brand, like with the business bros. Now, you have you tend to have a trust in that, and you know that's how the social proof gets built as well. Exactly. Yeah, We've and, got, and it's, it's about that social proof and and getting to know other people, right? So you know, your audience may have very few people may have recognized who I was or, or, you know, that I even have a podcast and you're clearly on the other side of the pond for us. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's a different world for us, but as yeah. we get out there, as we communicate, as you know, now that people like whoever listened to this episode on your show and let's say they happen to like me, anytime I comment on any of your shows going forward, they're yeah. going to recognize that label and yeah. recognize the brand. Of That's course. what it's Listen. about. That's you've got you've got Timothy Marlowe here, who's um, who, who's sending a message to you. Look at this! Look, I see and your Timothy, movie Timothy's in the in I think it was Washington or Seattle. Like he's he's up north for me. We were on his uh, BD local on his podcast Hello, recently. Be. Him and Andy, and they you know uh, I had a great time on there too. Same thing, sharing the same power of podcasting, and they're doing it in their local industry. They're helping people out to build their podcast there locally. They have a nice little studio. People come in, they do recording, cool. they do editing for the people. It's it's amazing stuff that they're doing. Oh, nice. Well, hi, Timothy. Thanks for uh, thanks for your message there. See, so look at this. This is like a community. We've got people here, um, and uh, and I know these guys all through all through podcasting, and we're actually obviously getting out there a little bit. And you're coming on, and it's it's interaction. You know, you've already grown another another person, another part of that um, uh, of that sort of network, isn't it? You know, I like it. I love it. it. I love it. I really enjoy it. How about communicating on, on social media too, by the way, using these groups, right? Different groups and different sections that, that we might operate in being yeah, yeah. an active communicator in those groups, not just idly, you know, watching and maybe giving a heart here and there, but actually contributing, asking some questions that, that interact with, uh, with the people in that particular group, answering questions, yeah. leaving comments behind those, all those things also help you establish your brand and, and make yourself known in that community. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you do obviously a lot in the podcasting groups, but that doesn't mean that other people can't do that in in other groups that are relevant to their their business, their industry, their uh, their arena as well. Uh, and it, and it's a good point. I don't do it anywhere near enough. I have to be honest with you. I try and do a little bit more now, but it's having the time to do that on top of everything else. Um, and it, that's where it starts becoming um, the overwhelm, as we've said before. Is is overwhelm is always a bit, a bit but that that stops me sometimes. It's just because I've got so many. Too much, I've got to have a conversation here, and then I've got to keep on top of that conversation, um, which you do very well. To be fair, I, I try, I try, but at the same thing, time is there. I mean, we only have twenty four hours in a day, so it doesn't know, matter who you are. That's that's all you get, right? And so we use them how we're going to use them. Like right now, I've been spending my Instagram time uh, trolling in in Tony Robbins comments. Because right. I feel like, you know, those people that are listening to Tony Robbins uh, tend to be people who uh, kind of want to be those motivational speakers, want to sure. get, you know, their message out in that positive light. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm like, hey, you should start a podcast. <laughs> That's what you should be doing, right? <laughs> and so I'm, I'm 
trying to provide as much value as they can. And I'm living in, in, in his comments. So I'm, I'm in there and I'm, I'm trying to comment to people. People are like, yeah, it's very inspirational. It helped me out. I'll ask them questions. Yeah. You know, I'll take over to their, go over to their page. I'll, I'll try to comment on their stuff and, and open up their, their eyes to maybe, you know, doing a podcast themselves, you know, yeah. send them a link to my audio book. I'm like, here, you yeah. can do it for free. It doesn't even cost you anything. You can start your messaging. You can become Tony Robbins type person if you want, <laughs> you know, this is, this is a road to get there. Yeah. Um, and, it, and, it mo and it most definitely is. I mean, it's definitely a way of raising yourself up. As you said, once you do these, I'm like, okay, we're doing lives. Um, but if you don't want to do lives and then, then just record them and, 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 and do that to start off with would be, would be my recommendation if you're nervous mm -hmm. and just have a conversation with somebody in business, just record it and just, just try it out. Uh, you don't even ever, ever have to post it out. I did. We probably did, you know, a good half a dozen podcasts that I would never, and perhaps I'm probably deleted them to be fair. <laughs> 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 those but, are the but, practice runs right the practice yeah, runs yeah exactly yeah i got really nervous i was i was really nervous it was like weird I, I can talk no problem at all start doing it when you've got to have some depth to what you're talking about as well it's it's not an easy it's not always an easy thing to do uh but you've as you said you've got a book and you've sort of you sort of set it out so it makes it a little bit easier to know how to get going right yeah and it's it's not something super fancy it's just what i did right yeah. like this is this is an instruction manual based on how i've achieved whatever i've achieved in podcasting so i i, I wish i can ex instruct you on how to be the next joe rogan i just yeah. i'm not there yet so since i haven't done it i can't really show you that part yeah. right <laughs> i can just show you the the stuff that i've done and and i'm, I'm starting to add to it things like this whole stream yard um, yeah. another another thing i got introduced to was uh matchmaker.fm have you heard of that no, it sounds like um, a dating site, but no, it kind, of oh, kind of is. Oh, it kind of is. So it's uh, it's where podcasters live, right? So you create a profile, and you can create a profile and uh, opt in as someone who is looking for guests to be on your show, and okay. you can also yeah. create the profile for uh, you wanting to be a guest on other people's show. Right, and it's just right. nothing but podcasters on that space. And ah. so you go on there and you you communicate with people who have shows or yeah. people who want to be on your show will communicate with you, and yeah. it's a way to you know to help perpetuate the 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 guest space in in podcasting and it's free well there's a facebook group that uh, i'm part of find find a guest be a guest have you have you have you have you got that podcast group have you are you part no, of that no 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 i haven't seen that one well, no. hop, hop on there mate um it's uh yeah yeah it's good um we've got uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people booked well we're booked into august set first week in august and a lot and quite a few have come from have come from there uh there literally is be it well it is what it, it is what it says on the tin basically the um, job, yeah <laughs> uh, but but yeah it could be pretty good for for you if you're doing that tour and you're you're racking them out have you got 50 booked have you uh have you got those no i haven't gotten to the 50 yet. that's why i was like holy crap this was a bigger bigger uh bite <laughs> a bigger bite. task than you thought because yeah, you, know, you know getting guests on my show has been it, it's gotten way easier right and same thing yeah. I'm, I'm booked out eight weeks in advance so yeah you know, I opened up a secret spot, so that's the one I'm going to send you a link. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. For. So, and when I have uh, situations where we have to do some sort of reschedule, uh, it's a it's at an earlier time slot, which works out for you, right? Yeah. Uh, and it's around this time slot actually. So, okay. uh, so that way we can, you know, we can we can coordinate stuff. So, so getting guests was easy. It turned out to be super easy. Being a guest is has not been as easy. It's been yeah. a little bit more difficult because there's yeah. a lot of shows that are very niched, um, and uh, and so you know you get you get a lot more no's in that sense. So I've booked out of the fifty, I have eighteen so far. Okay, so, well, get, you know, get on that, get in that group. That that, I that, will, could, I will. that could help you. Uh, do a post on there and let me know how that goes. I'll uh, I'll, I'll I'll do a comment. I'll I'll big you up. And here's the, here's the messaging I, I tell people. I'm like, look, I may not get to fifty in June. I'm going to shoot for fifty, but I may yeah. not get to fifty. Now I'm on 18 shows I didn't I wasn't on before. Very and if true. I get, you know, I if I get to 30 or 35 or 42, whatever that number is, that's a lot of shows that I wasn't on before. <laughs> and it's a practice and a habit that I've gotten into yeah. that now, you know, it, even if I don't hit 50, I'm going to be on more shows going forward. Yeah. And it's going to help out. It's going to help me out in the long run. So it's a habit to get into. It doesn't, you know, at the end of the week, you, you either have, you know, excuses or you have results, right? Yeah. So yeah. if you have an excuse, it means you didn't do what you were supposed to do. If you have a result, it may not be the one you shot for, but you can always modify, adapt and improve upon that yeah. result. But you have to have a result to, to, to get better. Yeah, 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 for no, sure. I, I think that starts from the mindset. And that's uh, actually, I wanted to ask you, you know, that's a, so what do you think? Because you said about Tony Robbins, what do you think about him? And not necessarily just him, but, you know, people in this industry. Tony's, Tony's going to speak till the day he can't. 
I mean, he, he literally is on the verge of retirement, and not because he wants to, because his voice physically can't continue to to spread his message. Oh, you know? really? And I, 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 yeah, I mean, you hear him progressively. I mean, you hear his raspy voice. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's not like he's going through puberty. The man's a giant, right? He's, yeah, yeah, exactly. He's, he's already done that aspect of life. Yeah. But uh, you know, and and I wonder, hi, by, Tony, the way, by the way, <laughs> yeah, hi Tony. And I, and I wonder, by the way, if if how this whole COVID thing has affected. His his whole seminar basis, mm, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he's been in a big in a big way. It was it's affected, yeah, a couple of people that I know that were doing things like that. I mean, it's obviously knocked it all on the head. And these guys were turning around. They were spending fifty grand a month on on marketing, uh, you know, Facebook advertising, etc. Uh, you know, but doing two, three, four hundred grand a month in, uh, in in sales, you know, and that's completely changed they've had to reinvent themselves and they like to stand on stage they like to talk to people that's what they thrive off is that yes that reaction energy. That, that, yeah. that, that energy that uh that that well you do get engagement like this but not the same as you can see a load of faces looking you know who's going to buy and who isn't i suppose yeah um no, so it's a that, slightly yeah. different it is a slightly different platform in doing doing that but i think you just reach out in a different way it's i think it's more friendlier it's going to almost be more personal can't it yeah, and that's that's the thing where uh, where back to Adrian's point is they're just changing the way they do things. They're mm. modifying their their approach, and they're going to continue moving forward the best way they can. Tony's still putting out content. It's not yeah. like he's not doing anything. He's he's yeah. still he's still putting things out on a regular basis. He's probably still you know meeting, doing live TV shows. I, don't, I have no idea all the other stuff that he's he's probably doing right now. Maybe yeah. he's taking a break and he's like perfect time to rest my voice. And I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna say a thing <laughs> for a while. And maybe I could push through for another f a few years or so. I have no yeah. idea. But but the the consistency factor, the fact that they get up every day and they know what it is they want to do and they yeah. look forward to doing it and they get out yeah. there and put it put their best foot forward and every single time they show up on camera or show up on stage yeah i think that is their the habits and the characteristics that we need people to have in whatever it is that they're going to do show up every day like it's like you know you're passionate to be there yeah yeah and 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 i think that's the the, the thing with the podcasting and I, I, I can't remember the stats exactly and i'm not a stats guy i never will be i'm not i'm going to do these shows i'll probably get in years to come i'll still be shit at stats um <laughs> but it, it's something like a million podcasts isn't there r roughly something mm -hmm. like that and I, I think it's only like five hundred thousand of those are sort of 70 plus podcasts most of them have done one or, or a few and just given up i think we maybe even spoke about this before um so but, but to be in that sort of top 500 which actually we we sort of are now i suppose oh five hundred thousand. You've got um, you've got a bit. I think it is the consistency, and it becomes easier the more consistent you are as well. Uh, but as you said, distributing across the platforms and doing all those things, I think sometimes people think in doing podcasts before they do it that you've got to have a massive audience. And yeah, listen, it's useful, but. If you've got the right audience and you are getting them from all of those angles, I like to call us Essex Business Radio On Demand because that's in essence what you are, aren't you? If you can do that and they can pull that, as you said earlier on, that information uh, wherever. Or I like to listen. I like to watch things rather than listen. I don't really listen to them any, that many podcasts, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, I did initially. <laughs> I just did my nutting listening to people, um, but I think that's the, that's the thing, isn't it? Consistency and just coming from different angles to uh, to make that work and make sure that you're clear about what it is that you're doing as well. It has to be a lifestyle, right? Yeah. You, it's something you know. When when people say, you know, how, how should I start it? I go, well, number one, let's let's uh, figure out your hosting platform where these things are going to live. Number two, what's the day that we're going to do this? Right. Yeah. What day and time every single week or every single day, whatever, however the frequency is going to be, when is it going to happen? And then let's put that on the calendar. And no matter what, this is what you do on that day. Right. Yeah. Nothing gets in the way of this. Right. This is like like picking up your kids from school. This is that important. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if you yeah. don't pick yeah, up yeah, your yeah, kid from sure. school, you're going to be in big trouble. So this is your this is your spot. And, and just make it as important as anything else in your life that that you put value on. And if you do it that way you're going to get better at this. It's going to become funner. It's going to become easier because you know, you know what? My alarm's about to go off. I'm, I have to do my podcast. Like it's, th it's yeah. that time and yeah. you're going to, you're going to commit to it. Once you've committed and, and made it part of your lifestyle, it will get better. You might not have an audience, but you will get an audience. Yeah. If you already yeah. have an audience, it's great because they know exactly when they're going to get a piece of you every single day. Yeah. Right. So it works either way, but commit, make it part of your lifestyle. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. And oh. I think you also have so many topics, you know, so even obviously you can invite other people. If not, you can just choose, I don't know, news of the days in UK, news of the days, news of the days in US, in the world, wherever you want, right? Just 
crypto, I don't know, whatever it's your hobby, passion, you know, whatever you just read this morning on the toilet, just talk about it later <laughs> tonight, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and do it. So, because everyone has their own way to express their opinion, you know? So if people are going to like, they're going to like you no matter what. You can even do an opinion show. Pick the, the four exactly. or five different people that you look up to and create a show about them, right? Yeah. This is what Gary Vee said today and then post it and then give your opinion on it. And you, before long, people are going to connect because you guys have the same thought process over what's yeah. going on, right? And now you're associating yourself with that individual. I mean, there, you don't even have to make up your own stuff. You can literally yeah. use other people's stuff and, and, and comment on their, on their whatever opinions that they have and yeah. build yourself, etch yourself into that mainstream. Become part of the uh, network or that group of people, those elites. You embed yourself in those elites. Yeah. You'll become one slowly but surely. I mean, it's a good point because if you if you think about the, I mean, how many kids watch YouTube videos of guys playing video games or girls playing video games or whatever? I it's do, I, sort of I thing do that, and I'm not a kid anymore. I still do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like actually, my girlfriend was making fun of me because there is a new game now. I don't know, SnowRunner. I never played it in my life. I never. Oh, knew here we go. It was, it's just been shown to me on 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 YouTube, and I'm watching it 30 minutes per day. And I was trying to buy an Xbox or a PlayStation to play it as well. My girlfriend told me, so when are you going to have time to play? Well, I'm <laughs> not, actually, that's why I'm watching, you know, <laughs> the guy still plays play and that's it, job done. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't do that. I don't, I don't really do those things to be honest. I, I think I, 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 yeah, I watch just crap when I, uh, when I look at YouTube and things like that. Um, but, but it is, it's, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, listen, if you if you struggle to know what to talk about, then yeah, there's, there's plenty of people doing other things that lo people love a review as well, don't they? You know, box Absolutely. opening for Christ's sake. I mean, what you know, whatever it is that you're going to do, um, you can do all of this with audio, video. But so you use this very, very well, and and it, and in essence, it sparked up a new side of the business for you, hasn't it? You know, you know, going from what you were doing and using it as a tool to get yourself out there has generated uh, a new revenue stream, in essence, a new side of the business as well. And uh, and you can do that in any arena. You're doing it in podcasting because that suits you. Um, but you can do this with anything. You know, there's as you said earlier on, we're not regulated here. We can do whatever we can talk about, whatever we like. We can promote whatever you like. You can sell it. I wouldn't try selling too hard. I'd be more natural and uh, and and sort of free flowing conversation wise and things like that than trying to sell. I think personally, um, but people do. They 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 will just go on and straight sell as well, won't they? Absolutely. I mean, I, I had this uh, idea the other day. Um, TikToks have super trendy stuff going on. Like, uh, you know, that whole wipe. Have you seen that wipe, wipe, no, wipe? No, I haven't, yeah. no. Oh, all right. Well, uh, it, am, it, I am I out of touch? Am I out of touch? Yeah, you're out of touch. You're out of touch. Yeah. This old guy right here. No, I'm just playing. So uh, <laughs> they basically, they go to a mirror and they spray the mirror and it's like wipe, wipe. And as they wipe, they transition and it'll be like a like you know a girl that's that's you know straight out of the shower all nothing yeah. and she wipes and then she's like beautiful gorgeous whatever ah. you know that sort of stuff so you know i was thinking man what if we made like shirts that were just trendy shirts and we'd take those wipes wipes whatever and then we interviewed the tiktokers who created those oh, and we just really? kind of you know like get them on the show and then like check out i made this shirt what do you think blah, blah blah and then you know plug the shirt i mean how simple a concept is that to a get yourself with a people with a you know have people on your show who are relatively new to fame but have a following and yeah. are going to share the content with them who are yeah. originals to specific trends and the trends are hot you might have a revenue stream to come out of them yeah. right i haven't done it but it was an idea that popped into my head and i was like you know this is the type of stuff that i get to talk about on the show yeah ideas like that pop up i may not execute but because i shared them somebody's going to execute and make that their their gig yeah yeah and they go will they come and thank you for it though do you think yeah i don't know i hope so right send me a shirt <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Hedman, what are you gonna do then if you if you get a porn star then on your show you know what's funny uh so the other day uh sean uh sean i forgot his, his last name but he's uh with kelly uh Tell kelly barbecue name. he's he's one of the no 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 he's he's he has a podcast here uh digital hospitality right so you get a mug right here, right? Nice. So I'm, I'm 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 scrolling through uh through Instagram and he he has an episode and it's with uh Lisa Ann, right? And I was like Lisa Ann, I recognize that name, Lisa Ann. Quick little Google search and I was like, oh Lisa Ann. Yeah, I know I can visualize it. Right? Oh wait, oh I didn't I didn't I didn't know who you were with your clothes on. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> but, but that that would be kind of cool, right? Like, yeah. how many times would you? I mean, if she's if you had one of those on your show, right? And right there, you can ask all the questions you wanted and and get a straight answer. Like, you know, how much money do you make? Like, yeah. how, you know, how lucrative is it to be in that business? How do you deal with with people? You know saying things to you on a regular basis like i would want to know these things and you'd have the ability to ask those questions yeah and not just that. also if you if you don't want people to judge you you can always just say so that's what the listeners want to know from you even if it's yeah. your own question yeah you know, yeah yeah, yeah. We, i'm asking for a friend <laughs> in, in, in fact it's growing it's growing in that industry as well you know even in the porn industry it's growing you know podcasting audio and video podcasting that whole sort of more relaxed back end get to know get to know the people this is a big growing market it right now and in fact i know somebody that's actually involved in that um so so yeah it's it's this it stretches across everything mm -hmm. every market every possible service every product it, it, there's no limits to what you can what you can do and you can talk about that's what that's the beauty of it all isn't it and and it, i mean you you we knock it because it's it's you know awkward or whatever but look i i was looking at at some data the other day on the most popular websites in the world, right? Number one, yeah. obviously, is Google. Number two was uh, YouTube, right? Facebook, number three, that sort of stuff. But number seven was Pornhub. So, oh, really? you know, yeah, okay, it, it's quite way down, man. In the world, like, way down there, right? No, number oh, seven. Maybe number one world. now during this period, but yeah. yeah probably, right? But, <laughs> but the fact that it's up there, I mean, goes to show as, as awkward and as weird as we might feel about talking about that thing, everybody in the world, for the most part, understands yeah. it. I mean, that's the yeah. only way we procreate, right? So, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's exactly. the whole reason where we're 7 billion people on this earth. Yeah, what is it, billion people on this planet? Yeah, whatever it is. Sure, so sure. Whatever it is, that's the that's the whole point, right? So it, it might be awkward, but if you were to get somebody like that on your show, yeah. think about how many people would tune in because they're oh, yeah. curious. Right. Listen, I'm, I watch out. Watch out when I do um, when I do a series of podcasts that I'm going to do on a personal level, and um, there could be a few interesting characters coming on there, <laughs> uh, unbusiness un related. So we, we're good. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'll let you. I'll let you know about that. We, we, it's been. I've, I've been. Egg, I've been honestly pushed to do it so much in the last three months by Brian, my uh, my mate in LA, um, that uh, that I've got to do it soon. Um, but that, then you've got to build another bloody brand up as your own personal brand, haven't you? Yes, you do. You do. But, so, you know, I mean, people, well, but a lot of people use this for, for building their personal brand as well. I mean, you're you're using utilizing it utilizing it as a as a, as a personal brand that is business related. Um, we've probably gone down the other route, so more business related than a personal brand. Now we've got to build the personal brand. You've done it quite cleverly and built the two at the same time, haven't you? Yeah, it's it's um, so. My name, Hernan, has always been uh, difficult for people to pronounce and say whatever. I, I, I pronounce it no problem at all. What's, how can you, you, how can you, I don't what know. you do is hear it once. Yeah, if you hear it once, right? But I mean, you, you know, you, it, attendance at the beginning of the school year, you know, you, you get all <laughs> kinds of different pronunciations. So, uh, you know, but doing the business bros and having the business bro as an individual brand, that one that one has, has worked out pretty good. And it's simple for people to say. And again, it's like that goofiness, business bros, like that's. Yeah become my name <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 that's your brand exactly no, yeah, that's brand, brand. Yeah. Yes. i could talk to you for, for for hours on this subject because it fascinates me because we're sort of in the early throes of this really only been doing this for sort of six yeah six months six seven months so um and and now co-hosting as well it's uh uh, it adds, an, adds a whole different twist to it as well which is but it's quite good i like that bounce as we said before we started recording uh adrian down here uh is the analytical one and i'm just flamboyant and out there a little bit more <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's I, good. i'm also creative sometimes but i try to no you are you are very things. creative <laughs> he it's said that nicely too yeah yeah you're good you're good yeah yeah you're right no, you're <laughs> creative, but he, he's there, right? relatively creative he's just it, way more analytical it, than i am that's for you're sure you're good that's why i don't give you my password from streamyard but yeah you're good you're good <laughs> <laughs> we'll sort that out we'll sort that out um, but you know, an absolute pleasure chatting, chatting with you as it was uh, before when I, when uh, when I chatted with you last time um, in what, what was not far into lockdown at that stage. Uh, have you have you seen a massive a massive increase in in engagement with people and uh, and what you've been doing the last two or three months uh, in doing what you're doing? 
Oh yeah, the, it, it's completely changed. I think also the the dynamic of of the guests, like the the comfort level of them to come on the show, is is night and day. People are just yeah. again, like I was saying, they're just more comfortable being behind a camera, and yeah. and this is the new way of communicating. They're more knowledgeable, where like maybe they're in a place and they throw on a virtual background or yeah, you know yeah. all kinds of different stuff to make them a little more comfortable. I think. Yeah. Uh, and and it's just been uh it's been a much more of a fun time and they tend to interact more and engage more after the fact when we post smaller pieces of content that go out on social media. So it's been a, it's been a fun ride. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, we're a little way, a little way behind you, but I'm definitely keeping a, keeping a close eye on what you're doing and picking up some tips and stuff because you've, uh, you've been, you've been great and, and, and very open with talking to me and stuff as well. And I do find that there's a community uh, of podcasters where we do all want to help each other and get and see that success around us as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how, uh, how big you get mate and how, where, and where you go with it all. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's inspiring and it's exciting as well. I like it. It totally is. Both ways, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very much. Um, so, so where can everybody find you, of course? Hold Absolutely. On. So uh, I'm going to give away my, my ebook for those of you who want to start a podcast, businessbros.biz slash free pop. That's F-R-E-E-P-O-P. Uh, it's free for the month of June. So grab it. It's the full copy. And you can find us at Business Bros Pod on any one of the platforms, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, yeah. at Business Twitch. Bros Pod. Twitch. Yeah. Oh, Twitch. Oh. He picked up the one that you didn't say. Yeah. <laughs> Analytical think, side, you know. I think I think he's frozen, actually. I think he has frozen. Well, if he I think that, back? no, I think oh, he didn't want to talk with us anymore, so he just faked yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Did he I was just, like, oh, okay. did he, were you just fucking with me then, were you? Were yeah, you yeah, that's what happened. Keep that would dead happen? still. He's like, okay, go ahead and talk. Bye. <laughs> 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 See, it's moments like that that if you if I hadn't have done the, the podcast we've done in the last few months, I probably would have freaked at that point. I shit, now what? Well, now what? But you know, you just go through it. I was just going to basically say, well, that was Hanan. <laughs> <laughs> and <I see> me. <laughs> cut. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mate, absolute, absolute pleasure. Well, I, I definitely think it's pivotal. I definitely think podcasting, using everything you possibly can in it, uh, you know, it's such a big thing. Uh, doing a video, turning it into an audio and video podcast is 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 a big, big pivotal thing right now. One of the biggest movements, I I think. It was already big, but I think it's just, it's, it's really got bollocks now, hasn't it, so to speak? It's, it's, oh, yeah. it's there, you know? And, and here's the thing. Remember, mo- half of them have less than 14 episodes. So yeah. there's a lot of people who started something in COVID that will not continue it as things open back up. Yeah. So, you know, if you're if you're thinking about getting in this space, you still have time. It's still early yeah. on. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Hanan, an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Enjoyed um, it. Adrian, it a pleasure nice meeting you. Meet you. Yeah. Elliot, we'll- always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Uh, and, uh, we'll always. make sure that there's links around things and, 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 and you know, to your book and stuff as well. So we'll make sure that's out there. Uh, and we'll listen, we'll be doing another one at some stage. I'm coming on yours soon. We're going to have to, go to sort that out. I think you froze, Adrian. Uh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> no, you, a, a, Elliot did. I think you cut him out on purpose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Adrian, thank you very much. Co-host Adrian Dorobantu. Where is it? There, there, there. <laughs> And our guest extraordinaire, Hernan Sias from the Business Bros. Uh, if you want to know more about uh, Hernan and what he does and you want to get help with the podcast, I absolutely recommend what he's doing because he's absolutely smashing it and he's got loads and he's just willing to help um, everybody to get yeah, level yourself up if you want to get into podcasting or if you just want to level up the podcast you're already doing. Uh, don't stay in those first 14 episodes. Keep going and uh, and just just keep doing it just keep doing it consistency is definitely the word from today i think uh, being consistent uh, if you want yeah, to know more about have, what you have got... no audio just force your family to watch you that's <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> If you want to know more about what we do, then you've got to check us out uh, across uh, vir- virtually every social media platform, just like the Business Bros, uh, Essex Business Radio. Uh, and uh, it's only differences on Twitter, which is Essex Biz, B I Z Radio. And of course, our website, EssexBusinessRadio.com, and our free app as well, uh, which you can download at any good app stores and just search for Essex Business Radio there as well. Thanks, thanks again, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. And it's definitely been the Pivotal Podspective. Definitely, yeah. Cow for now. Brown cow.